Well, let's close out the phone side with WebOS now open WebOS 1.0 under the Apache 2 license. Oh, okay. I thought I see you said close. That's shouldn't have clicked the button. <laughs> I clicked the button. You said close. I clicked button. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think of that? Now we have an Enyo's going out under the Apache 2 uh, uh, license. I think is it out now or fully out in, in September? And they're gonna a, 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 it's going to be price. out in September, uh, and which means we're not going to see any WebOS stuff this year. That's going to all, yeah. I, I, I don't even think we're really going to see it in 2013 because if it's not going to go out till September then that means there's no way in hell for anybody to be ready for CES well, 2013. Yeah. In a Canada world, though, boy, is, is that, isn't that attractive as an alternative, though? It's, 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 I, I, oh, I, no, I, I, I think it'll be a great alternative, but I'm wondering why HP is taking so long to do it, because if they could get this done by April, then there would be plenty of time for people to gear up and have their, this is what we're going to be yeah. launching in 2013 at CE, at the 2013 CES, and they would be on the shelves, fourth quarter 2013. Yeah. Now we're looking at 2014, because they're going to take to September. I mean, that's, why do they want the extra year delay? Well, that's for the, I think that's for the full Enya, which is a framework. That doesn't mean, WebOS 1.0 is out now. Open WebOS 1.0 is out now. Now the annual framework comes out in September. They're going to start adding more, uh, I guess, releases month by month. But the thing of it is, is that I, I brought a lot of this up because I was discussing carriers on, on Twitter this week and how Apple makes $100 more than most other vendors because of the whole carrier charade uh, of subsidizing phones. They make 450 per phone subsidized, whereas most Android devices, the high end, like Droid Razor or whatever, makes 350 per phone. And then Android is subsidizing is subsidizing Apple because the Droid Razor is 649, the iPhone is 649 models respectively, okay, and yet you pay 199 for the iPhone 4S, but you pay 299 for the Droid Razor. Uh, I know Verizon hands out like little specials and stuff to people that probably got the Droid Race for cheaper. But I saw it for $2.99. It was out there for $2.99, and that extra $100 is subsidizing what Verizon doesn't want to have to pay to Apple for their for their $450 uh, payment to, to Apple. Hey, have you noticed that the running was making shitloads of money because of the carrier charade? I, I, I know that. Have you, that's becoming the running gag from the carrier charade. It's like, okay, so basically, who isn't Android paying for? They're helping subsidize iPhones. They're paying for Windows Mobile because Microsoft <laughs> is getting Android to pay Microsoft. It's like, so basically, Android is paying for the whole industry. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm curious because these companies are taking a loss. On the iPhone, if they can't make up the price, if the Android users, which I know a lot of them are fighting, and uh, to try to you know, oh, I want it for one ninety nine, I can get it for you know, they'll, they'll, they try to squirm and this and that, and and uh, a lot of the the companies are hurting. In other words, if you're a carrier, you don't want to really sell the iPhone because it's a it's a, it's a short term loss unless you have a lot of volume or you do a, a subsidy charade to make up the cost. Sprint. We don't even know how long it's going to take for them to start making profits on the iPhone. This is, I mean, when are the carriers going to wake up? And I think it's time, honestly. That that's, that's just completely wrong. And if Apple wants to say, nope, we're not changing our price, then let's, I don't know, I, I say drop it. I say, I, 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 would, I would just say drop it. It's not profitable for me. It's very profitable for you. Look at your bank. 97 billion in it. But you know, at the cost of a lot, that's 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 fair competition. Okay, and, and fair competition. I think the carriers now have um, Android, and, and obviously, and then now they're going to have WebOS, and they're going to have Windows Phone. Um, well, uh, uh, okay, it, 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 it pains me to say this, and it pains me of all people to have to play devil's advocate on this, 
But the one thing the iPlatform has going for it is it is the iPlatform. It has the iPlatform brand. I understand. So, uh, which means the only the, the, the one who's in a position to do that is Verizon because they have the Droid brand. Uh, the others, they haven't... That, that's one thing I'm surprised nobody else has done with Android. They've said, this is our Android brand. You know, we, we have the whatever, the, the, the bionic, the fugu, the whatever. You know, pick a, pick a, pick a catchy word. <laughs> I, I, I'm just after that it's, it's ridiculous in that I, there's, there's a, a very large user base for Android, a very large user base for iOS, that this charade needs to, uh, to be put to an end. You know, it's, it's ironic. And Steve Jobs got in his way where he wanted to never use carriers for a phone and just have it all, all over IP. I think this would be a very different world. I don't think Apple would be as profitable. Because all phones would then compete openly kind of like PCs did. And you wouldn't have this carrier charade type deal where Apple's technically getting subsidized and an advantage. Uh, now, you could say other carriers demand that they want to get 450, but then the carriers would, would be at a heavy loss on altogether, which maybe that's a direction. Now all of us well, and you're making the assumption that Apple's the one benefiting from this. It, it may be that the carriers are deliberately eating that. It may be that, it may not be that Apple's uh, asking for it. There are tons of articles talking about how the, 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 they, they, they take a hit and we don't know how long Sprint's going to be possible. They, it, they, it, I mean, that's a reality of it all. They, the, it could go two directions where the consumers, the, the consumer demand augments into where the iPhone is useless without the carriers in the United States. That we are more carrier driven, and I'm not a carrier fan at all. But uh, until we all have uh, phones like we do, PCs where we just hook up on the internet, uh, that's the that's the name of the game. That's not so going to yeah, come until we get rid of, until we allow yeah, any Joe Schmo to be an ISP money. in the U.S. Yeah. In other words, Apple won't make as much money. Sold. And therefore, this profit share thing won't be as high. Uh, and, and they, or it goes the other direction where uh, the Apple doesn't relent, the uh, carriers can't do anything about it, and the consumers are like, no, this is this is not going to happen. And then subsidies just kind of begin to slowly go away, and people start buying phones like they bought PCs. That this is the price of the phone, and that's it. And they hold on to phones, and the whole thing that the, of the United States at least two-year contract model begins to disappear. And then, I, I, then, that still does the same thing. Now Apple's no longer getting a subsidy bonus. So. I hear you.